Hey guys, um, today we're going to be looking at unsigned binary multiplication. It's already a bit self-explanatory, but in essence, I'll be showing you how to multiply non-negative binary numbers. We'll be taking a look at the way in which unsigned binary numbers are multiplied, learning the paper and pen method for unsigned binary multiplication, as well as taking a look at how a computer accomplishes this task. For the pen and paper method, we're going to first multiply the entire multiplicand by the least significant or rightmost bit of the multiplier to produce a partial product. Then repeat this process for every bit to the left of the least significant bit, placing each new partial product directly beneath the previous one and then shifting it one bit to the left. Finally, we'll add up all the partial products. It sounds pretty easy, and it is. It should also sound pretty familiar because it's roughly the same method as decimal multiplication where we have a multiplicand 762 and a multiplier here 594 we use the same method where we take the rightmost here digit which would be 4 multiply 762 by that 4 you get 3048 then you multiply the 762 by 9 to get 6,858 and then lastly we multiply the same 762 by 5 to get 3,810. Lastly we add up all the partial products to get our result 452,628. The rules for binary multiplication are also pretty easy where if we have a 0 times a 0, it's 0. If we have a 1 times a 0, it's 0. If we have a 0 times a 1, it's 0. And it only gets interesting if we have a 1 times a 1, where it's a 1, the result will be a 1. It's also pretty interesting because this is the same as logical AND, where the result or the output is 1 only when the two inputs are 1. The rules for binary addition state that if we have a 0 plus a 0, it's 0. If we have a 1 plus 0, it's 1. A 0 plus 1 is 1. A 1 plus 1 is 2. But in binary, we represent a 2 as 1, 0. We uh, keep the 0. We carry the 1. For 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. In binary, that's 1, 1. We keep the 1 on the right, and we carry the 1 on the left. Some things to note, we'll be using small n to represent the bit number of the multiplicand and small m to, re to represent the bit number of the multiplier. The multiplication of an n bit number by an m bit number will result in a number with n plus m bits. This means that there will never be an overflow, an overflow being uh, a situation where you have more bits than space allocated as long as we allocate uh, n plus m bits for the result an example of this is if we have 1011 multiplied by 110 where small n is 4 bits and small m is 3 bits n plus m is 7 bits therefore the result will never be more than 7 bits an example of unsigned binary multiplication uh, shown here 13 times 11 which would be in binary 1101 times 1011 we can expect a result of 143 which would be equal in binary to 1000 um, our multiplicand here again is 1101 multiplier is 1011 so then our, we take our rightmost bit, our least significant bit, of the multiplier and multiply the multiplicand by that bit, which will be 1. It's just the same thing over again. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Uh, we then repeat that process for the next bit, which would be a 1 in the multiplier, and which would be the same when we multiply it uh, to the multiplicand. Um, we get the same 1101. We put that below the first partial product, but we shift it one bit to the left. Uh, we then go on to the zero, which would just produce all zeros when multiplied. 
we put it down there for fun and we shift it one bit to the left and then finally with the last one uh, we get 1101 again when it's multiplied we put that at the bottom there underneath the zeros we shift it one bit to the left and then we start our addition uh, we have 1 plus nothing was, which is 1 we have 1 plus 0 which is 1 we have 1 plus 0 plus 0 which is 1 we have 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 we have 3 ones that makes 3 which is 1 1 we keep the 1 on the right we carry the 1 on the left and then we have 1 plus 2 zeros plus the carry which is a 1 and then so then we have 1 plus 1 which is 2 that's 1 0 keep the 0 carry the 1 1 plus 1 is 2 again keep the 0 carry the 1 1 plus 1 is 2 again keep the 0 carry the 1 and then we just uh, since we have nothing else to add it to we just uh, stick the carry up here add it to the left so now our final result will be one zero 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 one 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 which is also equal to our expected result now we'll show how a computer multiplies unsigned binary numbers computers often use cycles of a shift and add method to multiply unsigned binary values they use an accumulator which we'll call a to store the sum of the partial products they also use a carry which we'll call c to store any carry bits left after accumulator addition. We also use Q to store the multiplicand and M to store the multiplier. For each cycle, Q, our multiplicand, will be multiplied by the least significant bit of M, our multiplier. The result will then be added to the accumulator. After addition, the bits of the accumulator of the multiplier are shifted to the right, with the carry bit becoming the most significant bit of the accumulator, the least significant bit of the accumulator becoming the most significant bit of the multiplier and the least significant bit of the multiplier being discarded. If the least significant bit of the multiplier is zero, the addition is skipped and only the shift occurs. This is because if we're um, multiplying by zero, it's just going to be all zeros anyway. There's no need to add a bunch of zeros to anything. Uh, so then this cycle repeats uh, m times, m being the number of bits to represent big M, which is our multiplier, and then the final result will be stored within the accumulator and the multiplier combined. Now we're going to do a quick example where we're going to set our multiplicand Q to 1110, which is 14. We're going to set our multiplier M to 1101, which is 13. Our expected result would then be 14 times 13, which is 182, which is equal to 1011110 in binary. We're going to set our number of cycles to the amount of bits uh, that's used to represent the multiplier, which is 4 bits. So small m, number of cycles, will be equal to 4. Down here in the table, we're going to set up our initial values. Our carry our carry bit will be set to zero our accumulator bit will be set to four zeros our uh, multiplier will be set to one one zero one and our multiplicand will be set to one 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 zero in the first cycle we're going to do a multiply and add where we're going to take the rightmost bit of the multiplier and multiply it uh, to the multiplicand which will give us uh, 1110. We're then going to add that 1110 to the accumulator, which currently has four zeros in it. So um, it's just going to be 1110 when we add it to a bunch of zeros. After the add, we're going to do a shift where we're going to shift the carry bit to the right, uh, thus becoming the leftmost bit of the accumulator and the rightmost bit of the accumulator will be shift to the right becoming the leftmost bit of the multiplier the rightmost bit of the multiplier which was a 1 will then be discarded we'll then get to cycle 2 but when we get to cycle 2 we notice that we have a 0 in the rightmost bit of the multiplier which means we can skip the add phase and go straight to the shift phase because a zero is just going to result into adding a bunch of zeros which we don't need to do. 
uh, in the shift phase we're going to shift the carry bit which is a zero to the right becoming the leftmost bit of the accumulator the leftmost bit of the accumulator which was a one will be shifted to the right uh, which would be the leftmost bit of the multiplier and the rightmost bit of the multiplier which was a zero will be discarded we'll then come to cycle th number three which we're going to do a multiply and add uh, the rightmost bit of the multiplier is one so we're going to add one 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 zero to the accumulator which is currently set to zero 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 one one sorry and one 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 zero plus zero zero one one will give us zero 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 one with one in the carry we'll then do a shift where we're going to shift that one in the carry to the right and that one will then become the leftmost bit of the accumulator the uh, rightmost bit or least significant bit of the accumulator which was a one will then become the most significant bit or the leftmost bit uh, of the multiplier and the uh, previous rightmost bit which was a one of the multiplier will be discarded uh, we'll then come to our last cycle four is our last cycle because we already know how many cycles we need to do up here and uh, we're going to do one last uh, multiply and add um, our rightmost bit in the multiplier is a one again so we're going to add one 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 zero to our accumulator which is currently one zero 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 and one 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 zero plus one zero 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 is going to give us zero one one zero with a carry bit of one we're then going to do our last shift where we're going to shift the one to the leftmost bit of the accumulator um, the rightmost bit of the cumu uh, accumulator is going to be shifted to the right making it the leftmost bit of the multiplier and then the rightmost bit of the multiplier which is a one will get discarded and then since we're at our last cycle and uh, we just did a shift uh, we will have our result in the combination of the accumulator and multiplier bits and then so our result would be one zero one one zero one one zero which is our expected result and then lastly some further reading if you're interested um, I'm not gonna really discuss it here because it's it's beyond the scope of, of what I was trying to show you but if you find this interesting, please read up on binary multiplier circuits, how they're built and what they're built using. They're usually built using combinations of half adders or full adders. And um, they're built using the same AND gates and that I was talking about before, um, and some OR gates and some XORs. Pretty interesting stuff. Okay, guys, thanks for listening and reading along. Uh, see you soon.